it's Friday, people. It's Friday, baby. What a week it's been. And man, we're, it's just, I told you, baby, it's going to crank right up. I know it is. It's Friday. So get that beer or whatever adult beverage you have on hand. Mine happens to be a, a, a some more of this big house bourbon and a little ice. And that's all I need. I got to drive this evening to go pick up Rose. Her car's in the shop getting repaired. Here's the Friday, baby. Take a big old hit off of that joint. Blow it this way, baby, because I need it. Don't bogart that joint. Mm. My friend, pass it over to me. Uh-huh. I remember that song. I'm old. I remember when it came out. Anyway. I hope we are ready for a good weekend because it looks like there's a lot of shit coming out we're going to have fun with. Before I get started, I got mail, baby. I got two pieces of mail. I got a letter from Jimmy Eppingworth. I hope I'm pronouncing that right, Jimmy. He's from Brooklyn, New York. He wrote me a very nice letter, and I appreciate it very much. He uh, was talking about the video where I was getting on what he says, everything from the fake president to to the racist Steve King, to, to, oh, just, there was something else I had in mind I wanted to mention. Ah, anyway, something else. Uh, oh, the Texans down here, the Republicans, the Republicans down here in Texas, Texas trying to, uh, oust the guy from being, I believe, the, uh, the vice chair of the, uh, Republican Party in Texas because he was a Muslim and they had to throw him out. There was 49 Texas congressmen, Texas state congressmen, state legislators that voted to oust him out of his position because he was Muslim. Ah, how you like that for religious freedom? Yeah, it told you if it don't involve Jesus, it don't involve you. Anyway, speaking of which, I got a, I got a cup from Harry Whittlefield, and I think her name was Shelly Ferguson. I'm not sure. I should have looked it up again. Uh, from, uh, from Left Hugger. Let me see. Let me switch cameras here switch cameras. There it is. Make America think again. That's a hefty side. I can put all four of my fingers in there. Make America think again. And it's got a brain there with a light bulb American flag on there so they can remember. Uh, Lefthugger.com. If you're looking for any kind of resistance type t-shirt or t-shirts, I guess, that have some uh, from pretty good shit on them. Uh, go by there and check out Harry's site at, 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 at uh, lefthugger.com. I liked my Left Hugger shirt the other day. Uh, I wore it to town, and somebody was uh, looking at it. And uh, they just gave me a thumbs up like, I don't know. Like, Left Hugger, I don't know. Anyway, thank you. Uh, thank you, Harry, and, and uh, thank you, Jimmy. I appreciate it. Uh, I like getting mail in that mailbox because uh, it makes me feel better for paying for the mailbox. Anyway, what's going on? Well, we got big news today. Jeez, I had all sorts of stuff written down, but this is the big story of the day. It came out. BuzzFeed came out with a story, they say. BuzzFeed came out with a story that Michael Cohen, Michael Cohen told Mueller that, uh, that uh, Donnie told him to lie to Congress when he went in front of Congress and, and under oath testified about shit. And Donnie told him to lie specifically, I know, about the Trump Tower deal in Moscow. You know, the one that, uh, I can't remember, it was way off on the peripheral, Donnie Jr. said. Same way with, uh, with uh, what's her name, Daddy's little girl, Ivanka. Oh, I, I, I barely knew anything about it. Are you shitting me? Two little turds are so wrapped up in that big turd. You can't get away from this shit. It's all over you, baby. You, your brothers, all of it. It's all over for you. And uh, we can't wait for the sideshow here to start. But Donnie instructed Cohen to lie. They call that obstruction of justice. As a matter of fact, Barr, during his Senate confirmation just the other day in the Senate, was asked the specific question. If somebody told somebody else to lie, in front of Congress, would that be obstruction of justice? And Barr went, yeah, yeah, that's it. Yes, it would be, yeah. Yeah, that's fixing to be the new attorney general. Donnie's not too happy either that he that he found out right there during the invest, during the meet hearings that uh, the Bars and the Mueller's were, were good friends and would remain good friends for a long time after this. Ah, I bet Donnie's little butt 
pucker it up. I bet he could taste the McDonald when it clamped down so shut. Anyway, he's uh he's got his ass in a crack. But then again, I'm thinking this is another one of those things I really am because they're already yelling, impeach his ass, impeach him. Hold back, baby, hold back. Uh, I know it sounds exciting. Remember, we already have impeachment for violation of the campaign finance uh, laws when you know he paid off Stormy uh, and he said he didn't, and then the Cohen has a tape recording, remember, and all that shit. In other words, Donnie lied as usual. And, uh, but, uh, oh Lord, I forgot where I was, had that thing got distracted. Anyway, Cohen, let me get my thoughts back on, because I'm not going to start this over again. I'm too far into it. Mueller has evidence to back Cohen's story up, either in text messages, recordings. We know that, that Cohen made a recording of the Stormy Daniels deal he talked about with with Donnie. So was Cohen uh, smart enough to record a few conversations with Donnie about lying to Congress? Maybe so, baby. Maybe so. Maybe so. But, but, but they, they may have text messages to back up Cohen's story because because Sarah Sanders, the shit shiner from hell, the official turd polisher of the dump administration, the, the, the little orange toddler. That's what he is, baby. Y'all see this shirt? That's right, and peach the orange little, and that's what he's acting like today, right there. He's acting like a child, keeping all these people off of, off of work. Got this government shut down just because he didn't get his way. Yeah, I heard stories that when he was a little kid, he didn't get his way at the birthday party, take the cake and throw it. That's him. It's been his way all his life. You expect him to change now that he's in the White House? No. He, he feels, he feels em empowered by that. Look what he got through doing all his life, throwing shit around, making disgusting deals, laundering money, obstructing justice, whatever it takes, baby. But like we said, Donnie likes being in the news, but I have to wonder, does he really enjoy being in the news this much? There's people calling for him to be impeached or resign right now. Resign, I'm good for, baby, impeachment. Tuck this one right in the side pocket, right along with the Stormy Daniels. Now we have Michael Cohen confessing that Donnie told him to lie to Congress, obstruction of justice. Tuck that in your little vest pocket. And let's move on. Let's get in. We have it, baby. Keep investigating and get the story out. Get the story in the public where it needs to be. But wait, there's more. And you know there is. You know there is. It's just like a TV commercial. Get, get it now for $19.99, but wait, there's more. It's the same way with Donnie. We know he's a shit turd from hell. We know he's dirty as hell. We know he's a con man. We know he's a, he, he, he's a gangster, money laundering fool for the Russians. There's talk going on that his, his talking points are coming straight from Russia. You know, he's had five meetings with Putin, and there's not a single U.S. citizen in this country who has a single idea of what was said in those meetings. Five of them alone with Putin and no record on our side of what he's talking about. Make you feel safe, does it? Makes me feel like my country's being sold out the back door, baby. Inch by inch. These Republicans, these conservatives in this country need to think about that. Think about the man you mistakenly voted for. You were conned. We're going to give you that. You need a way out? That's it. You were conned. You were a good American. But now it's time to, to straighten your shit up. It's time to pay attention to what these stories are saying. And they have been saying for two years. Are you going to hang with him all the way till his disgusting ass is proven to be nothing but a Russian whore? Is that going to make you feel good? Are you still going to stand up for him then? Because if you're an American, you will not do that. You will stand up now and hold him to account for this story, for the other story, for every story we've heard. The whole family, not just him. The only one that has a way out is, is the little boy, whoever his name, Brandon, whatever. His name is. 
He's the only one with a way out. I was too young to know. Eric, because he chews gum, and he can always say, well, I can't remember because I was chewing gum at the time. Don't let him fool you either. He's deep in this shit, too. Donnie left all control to the Trump enterprise in their hands. So when that deal was going on with Moscow, with Russia, you know, baby, you know Donnie Jr. was ass deep in this shit. Meeting with the Russians right there in Trump Tower, what the hell? He's not afraid of anything. He'll do it all, baby, for his daddy, for money, just like his father, just like his grandfather. The Trump, it's, it's the way the Trump family is. They're a bunch of scum-sucking dogs. It's, oh, scum-sucking dogs are even better than that. Anyway, I digress. Donnie's going to have another meeting with Kim Jong-un. What? Yep, got another meeting. Going to come up, I think, next month or some shit. Ain't that some totally... Ring a bell for that asshole. Gonna meet again with him. Have we gotten anything from the first deal? No. What did Kim get? All the publicity in the world. While he builds his nuclear weapons. While he continues with the same shit he did before. Blow up an old tunnel that they was fixing to blow up anyway. Because of an earthquake that made it unstable. So they blew it up. And the world went, oh look, he's gonna blow up all this shit. No he ain't. He ain't blowing up shit. Getting rid of one so he can build several more. But Donnie's going to meet with him again, baby. Donnie's going to meet with him. What kind of um, international policy is Donnie progressing over there? A any kind of American values, any kind of American deal where we see some results? No. No. I don't know what Donnie's getting. Maybe maybe they're in love, like Donnie says, and maybe they're just going behind the curtain. No interpreters and nobody else in there. So Donnie can get on his knees right in front of Ong um, like he does in front of Putin. Is that what this deal is about? Is that why we can't have any recordings of what's in there? What's going on with your meetings? Because you're spending your, not, your time on your knees with your mouth open? Because it sure seems like to me. Democrats call for an inquiry into report that Trump directed Cohen to lie. That's right, baby. That's what I've told you all before. This is where the work starts. This is where all the shit's going to come out. You start these in little inquiries. Now we have a smoking gun. I'm sorry, a smocking gun. Got a smocking gun over here. Look here, got testimony and evidence that the president caused this man to lie to Congress. Told this man, lie to Congress so I don't get caught. Got a smoking, smocking gun, smocking gun. Go out tomorrow and have a hamburger. Ignorant Wharton School of Finance. Are you shitting me? The school ought to be closed down for... For giving this man a, a diploma? Are you shitting me? What kind of crap are you cranking out at the Wharton School of Finance? Ignorant assholes are just people that can pay for that diploma, baby. Got enough money, baby, in this country. You can buy whatever you want. In this world, you got enough money, you can buy. You can buy a condo and get a visa to come here and have your baby. And that baby's American. Oh, that's an anchor baby. No, no, no. We paid big bucks for that. Let's build a wall. Let's build a wall to keep out all those undesirable people on our southern border. Build a wall. The largest single group of asylum seekers turned themselves into the Border Patrol in Arizona. Immediately after entering the United States, sought out the Border Patrol and turned themselves in to ask for asylum. And then they showed him the freaking tunnel they dug under the wall to get here. So what do you think your wall's going to do? We hear it down here all the time. Oh, they found another tunnel here. They found a tunnel over there. What wall is going to stop anything that, that, that is determined to get in here? You're just about, you're only worried about the ones that can't pay for it. The ones that don't have the money to bribe this guy or that guy. Buy an airline ticket, buy a condo, all those kind of things. You know, if you buy land here, we give you a visa from our country here, and you can take that visa and go anywhere in the world with it. You think poor people down in Honduras, El Salvador, have that ability, have that option open to them? No. They have one option to get out of the hell they live in, and that is to, to trench their way here, baby, by foot, 2,000 miles to get here. That's how much they're willing to sacrifice for the liberty for their children. We should be the same. We should be the same. The wall is nothing but a disgusting monument to, to 
to n white nationalists and white supremacists and neo-Nazis and all the disgusting crap that goes over to that side. That's all that ball is. That's all it is. And this shutdown, do you think he cares that these millions of people are hurting in this country? No, he does not give a shit. He wants to play his little game, and if he doesn't get his way, he's going he's gonna to throw a little tissy fit. And he did. He did just, just last night. Last night, Nancy Pelosi, the Speaker of the House, and other de delegates, other House members were going to go on a trip to see our troops in, in, in Afghanistan and then carry on to a very important meeting with NATO. It was a business trip. Donnie puts out a, a message saying, oh, they're going on a seven-day adventure and your little adventure is canceled. If you want to go to Afghanistan, find some other... What? 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 Her trip to Afghanistan was canceled after Donnie made public the letter that he wrote to her, canceling her trip one hour before they were supposed to be wheels up. Before they were supposed to be... One hour. He did it because she wrote him a letter saying he couldn't have his State of the Union address until the government opens, which would be a wise uh, thing to do anyway. With the government shut down, how do you start that State of the Union? Our State of the Union is, is what? When we stand here and see Americans suffering for it, because Danny, Donnie boy, Donnie the little dictator of, of, of this country, wants his wall and is willing to hurt anybody he has to, to get it. So, anyway, the four Americans that were killed over in Syria by a bomber, ISIS claims responsibility for. That is the result of Donnie's little Twitter way he governs this country, the way he does it like a like a like a, a, a reality show, like it's all about him. We're gonna pull out of Syria. We're gonna pull out now because we've beaten ISIS. We've destroyed them. They're no good no more. We took away their their caliphate. And ISIS is over here listening to his ass. Oh, yeah? Didn't somebody else come out there? Mission accomplished. Hey, look at us. Mission accomplished. No, it wasn't. Was the mission accomplished here? Evidently not, huh, baby? Evidently not. I don't know what it is with these Republicans. They have to, they have to claim a little victory. Look here. We won when you didn't. For Americans. We ain't one shit. It's still going on. And in my opinion, it's going to go on for a lot longer. How we get out, I don't know. I feel bad we're going to turn our back on the Kurds, just walk off and leave them because Turkey's going to come down there and just mince, make mincemeat out of them. That makes Putin happy. That makes Syria happy. Makes Turkey happy. Screw the Kurds! The ones that have been fighting alongside of us. I'm tired of his his disgusting way he's trying to run our international affairs. It's sickening. Everything from the climate to, to, to war. He stuck his little mushroom pecker in it and screwed it up. And now we know, now evidence will come out that he has been a Russian whore from the beginning. That everything he has done has been directed by Putin. And I believe that will all come out. I believe a lot of things are going to come out, but but we're going to have a lot more of these little shiny objects, which is what this is, baby. Smoking gun. Sm smoking gun. There you go. Cohen said, Donnie said this. That's obstruction of justice. Let's impeach his ass. Oh, no, no, no. I want it to mount, baby. I want it to keep mounting up. Story after story. Crime after crime. Until the Republicans in the Senate decide to grow wibbles. Decide to, to grow some balls. Hell, they're almost all male anyway. All white guys over there, stand up, baby. You claim to be patriots? Well, look what's in the White House. You have an ounce of patriotism left in your soul. You should stand up and call this man out. Ask him why he feels the necessity to lie every time he gets in front of the camera, every time he gets on his little phone to tweet, every time he does something, every time he goes to, to the to the 
Pentagon to address the tro the troops, baby. And what does he do? He turns it into a, a political rant against the Democrats. You know, there's Democrats in the military, baby. There are people that care in the military and are willing to lay down their life for this country, fighting for the values that they believe in. So, yeah, they're Democrats, baby. Donnie doesn't give a shit. If you're in the military and you're a Democrat, you might as well get out because you're not Donnie's people. And we all know if you're not Donnie's people, well, hell, you're like the rest of us out here in society. We're all just thinking angry Democrats. He never has spoke to us. And the only thing he ever says about us is, is demeaning us. Libtards. Snowflakes, baby. Well, guess what? I'm ready to put on my leotards, and this big old avalanche is going to crush his ass. It's going to be the, oh, man, I'm going to go live tomorrow. I'm glad I said that. I have been holding on to a shirt somebody sent me, and it's a particular, it's for a, a, a day, and I'm going to wear it tomorrow. Tomorrow, I'm going to go over to Maestro's house, and uh, I talked to him today. He was a little, had a little problem this week, but tomorrow, I'm going over there with the camera. We're going to do the John and Maestro show, and... Uh, I hope that goes well. I'm sure it will. It's been a long time since I've had my, my straw on, and uh, he feels up to it. So tomorrow's the day, and uh, so y'all stay tuned for that. Oh, what else have I got? What else have I got? I just want to check this over because I got upstairs the other day, and I went, oh, look at her. Oh, look at her. I have Giuliani. I never said no collusion. I didn't never say that. Y'all see his? I did. I saw his ass. I never said there was no collusion in the campaign. Only with the... Are you shitting me? How many videos could they pull up? That idiot. He's a clown. This man who gave up his integrity, his, 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 his title of America's mayor when 9-11 happened. That man has sucked up to Donnie so bad it shriveled his heart to nothing, baby. He's a disgusting little clown trying to win the public opinion over... So, so what? He gets a bone? He gets, a, he gets Donnie's got him in the will or something? I don't know. Can you give somebody money when you're in prison for thieving money? I think they'll probably take all your assets there, Donnie, when you get done with it, and I hope they do, baby. I hope, I hope that, uh, what, what was, I don't know what book in the Bible it was. May his, ba may his, may his days be numbered. That's what's in the Bible, and that's what the Republicans said about Obama. And not only about his days being numbered, but his his family, his wife may suffer. May they may they all do that. Remember that when 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 the Republicans were chanting that about Obama. Maybe I say it now. May his days be numbered. I want him out of there, the disgusting thief that he is. And I want him out in handcuffs, baby. I want him going to. I want to watch the shit show when he, got, when he starts trying to pardon everybody because you know he's got to pardon everybody. I'm rambling on now. I could go on for another hour. I got to get this up online. I'm going to be, got got to go get Rose. Then I got to come back and try to get up on there with uh, Bob Kincaid tonight on Friday on the front porch, Bob Kincaid on Horn Radio. It's a live show up. Y'all there, tune in. Harry, Jimmy, thank you for, uh, thank you for the letter for the coffee cup. I appreciate it so much. The blue dots that tune in all the time and and, and, and support this show. Ah, let me hit the button right there. Uh, in case Dennis is listening on Discord, I had to turn the volume down. Anyway, those on Patreon and those that support us and send us letters and gifts, we appreciate them so much. And uh, we can't tell you how much it's meant to us in the last several months because it's really been rough. And, and y'all are the ones that saved the day, baby. So we appreciate that. And we love every one of this family, and it continues to grow, baby. This family continues to grow. John Bernabeau Speaks over there, Blue Dot family, has gone over 11,000 now. So if you ain't part of the family over there, go join up and be a family member. Because th this family continues to grow. We went over 10,000 on, on YouTube. We're still going up. And our followers on Facebook are just astronomical. And we appreciate every one of them. And, uh, baby, that's how that's how this wave turns into an ocean, baby. We just keep spreading these little spider webs out and and it just gets bigger and bigger the deep state and the secret society we're all over the place baby you'll never know where we're at anyway y'all have fun enjoy your weekend i will see you tomorrow and uh maestro will be saying hello so uh let me see i gotta oh man that better say there it is 
I thought that said start recording. No, there's a button right above it that says start streaming, and I was looking at that. Anyway, we'll see y'all later.